Little Miss is ready for her DIY. We're gonna try not to make a mess. Second time's the charm, right? <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. This is huge. This is definitely messy. We got it! you a Merry Christmas Eve and a Happy New Year. Hello and welcome to today's vlog and Merry Christmas Eve. It is December 24th. It's about lunchtime because I had to of course edit and get a video up today. I have a load of laundry going if you can hear that and this is what I'm wearing because we're getting into some crafts and DIY today. This is not what I'm gonna wear for later because we are going to Griffin's parents house tonight for like Christmas Eve dinner. Growing up his family was not this way but now that both of their children are like adults and have girlfriends of their own and kind of like lives and families beyond them they have turned into a Christmas Eve family. If you know you know. Let me know down below if you all are a Christmas Christmas Eve or Christmas Day family. So we will be doing our like gift exchange and everything tonight over at their house and also doing like a little fancy Christmas Eve dinner with the six of us. So that'll be really, really fun. But of course I'm going to change into something much nicer later. This is what we're wearing today because I kind of did a little sweep of the house, getting a nice reset before tomorrow because it'll be very messy with like opening gifts and everything. But I'm wearing a workout set that I got from Fabletics. It's like a navy blue color. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then I'm just wearing this flannel that's Griffin's. I have no idea where he got it, but it's like navy blue and orange. So I think it matches really well. So this is what we're going with today. But on today's agenda before the Christmas Eve stuff, I have one other gift that I decided I want to make for ourselves, but also for Griffin's parents as like a Christmas gift. So I want to do that today before we go over there tonight. And that's the whole DIY project because there is an Instagram account that I follow called Finley and Sadie, which are two of the cutest Australian shepherds I've ever seen. But they posted a reel of a DIY, let me find it, here it is, a DIY paw print ornament that you can make for your Christmas tree. And I know that Griffin's mom would absolutely love this as a gift and also I want one for our Christmas tree because this is Freya's first Christmas. I don't know if Kitty will let us make her one but we will find out. <laughs> I want to see how messy it is on like Freya's paws because if it's too much Kitty definitely won't like it but that's what I want to do today. Of course we have all of their other gifts like ready and wrapped y'all already saw that but I saw this reel and I was like this is the last minute gift that I really really want to do so we're gonna do that today which will probably take us until the end of the day or at least until Griffin gets home from work because he does have to work on Christmas Eve which is kind of shitty but since it's a retail place like they're gonna be open on Christmas Eve but they close early and especially like at Trek a lot of families bought bikes and stuff like that for their kids or whatever and they're keeping them at the shops until Christmas Eve because if they were there like the weeks leading up to the kids will probably find them or see them it's hard to hide a bike like a fully assembled bike so we're open on Christmas Eve we just close early that way families can come in and like pick up their bikes that they bought for Christmas we've been holding like hundreds of them so our shops are like flooded with bikes it's so cute like I absolutely love it but yeah we're open today so Griffin had to go to work which is sad but he'll be home early and then as soon as he gets home we're going over to Griffin's parents house probably our around four or five. So we got to get three or four hours before we have to go. First things first, we're going to preheat the oven to 200, which is quite low, honestly, but we're going to follow the instructions. We also need a bowl. I don't know if we'll need like a big bowl or might as well. Play it safe. Little Miss is ready for her DIY. And then we're going to mix together one cup of flour, one cup of salt, and half a cup of water. Okay. This is literally why I bought the flour the other day. We're gonna try not to make a mess. Oh, this doesn't fit in there. We'll use a half cup, because that fits in here. So, one cup of flour will be two scoops. Mm. We might not have salt. Okay. I have like pink Himalayan salt, but this would literally take forever to grind up. Oh, oven is done. To grind up two cups of salt. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. We're just gonna run to the store real quick. How do we not have salt? So we're gonna turn off the oven because I don't, I mean, I'm sure nothing will happen, but I don't want this place to burn down while I'm at the store. Let's get a couple little, she already knows. Good girl. I love it when she does that. Y'all don't ever get to see it like in real time because I forget to catch it. I just am always like, look, she's already sitting in her bed. But you guys see, if I open this door or like the freezer, she runs directly to her bed because she knows she's about to get a treat and it's the cutest thing ever. We didn't purposefully train that, but if you guys have been watching videos for a while, you know, because I talked about this a lot when she was a puppy, that we really didn't want her begging in the kitchen. So from day one, we trained her that if she was ever gonna get anything, like any food, even if it is people food, she can only get it in her bed. That way, like while we're cooking, 
anything. We're not like passing her scraps or like if we're eating, we're not passing her scraps. And so she knows from day one that the only place she gets good stuff is in her bed or like in her place or whatever. And that's her way of like begging. But I would rather her beg from her bed than like beg at my feet while I'm in the kitchen. So like, oh, that is like the most awesome thing that I trained her to do without really meaning to like train her to do it. Now it's just like an association. Will you come to your place? Good girl. You are so good. Here's some Tritos while I run to the store. Break. We got salt and we have lunch. I got this giant thing of salt. It'll definitely be enough. And then I know we're having dinner tonight within the next like five hours, so I don't wanna have a big lunch. So I just got sushi because it's something really light and that is it. So let's continue with our DIY. I'm gonna preheat the oven again. And we're gonna pick up on the two cups, or is it one cup? I think it's one cup. One cup of salt. One cup of salt and then a half cup of water. Bam, and then we mix. And it should be like a dough-like texture. There's the oven again. I think this is doughy. We're gonna go with that. I posted this reel on my stories and a couple people DM'd me because they tried it and they gave me some tips. So one, some people will cut out the circle first and then try to do the paw print. A lot of people said that it's easier if you just have like a slab, paw it, and then cut the circle out. So that way you know that the paw's centered. Cause obviously it's hard to do, you know, exact stuff like that with a dog. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of like blob it on a cookie sheet. <laughs> Maybe with some parchment paper. That way it's less messy. I'm just gonna use my like cup here. And I'm making two of them because I want one and then one for Griffin's parents. This is huge. This is definitely messy. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, it's definitely not like a perfect circle yet, but it would be good to like smoosh the paw down so you get a good shape and then I can cut around it. This one's pretty circular, but like, I don't know. We're going to wing this. Okay, actually I just rewatched Finley and Sadie's reel and mine are definitely way too watery because theirs was like actual dough. I think I want to do it over again because I don't know. I don't know. This is way too watery compared to theirs. So I'm going to try this over. I just rinsed out my bowl. We're gonna do part two. We have half cup, one cup of salt, and half cup, one cup of flour. I'm gonna try a little less water this time. And honestly, I'm just gonna mix it with my hands because it looks like that's what they did in the reel. This is gonna get messy. Because I tried this the first time, but it was like too hard for the whisk. So I added a little bit more water and then made it too watery. It's working. See, now it's like a big dough ball. Mine before was like almost pancake mix. Not what you want. Yeah, okay, so this is what theirs looks like. Okay, perfect. Second time's the charm, right? So we're gonna go for two big balls and one small one. Cause I feel like with this for sure, I could do kitty cause it's not as messy. My other before, definitely not for kitty. I got it y'all. So there's one. Here's two, and then a mini one for Kitty. She probably still won't like it that I'm doing this, but at least it's not gonna make a mess on her fur. Ah, okay. I feel like I'm gonna try to do Kitty first, because I feel like she's probably gonna be the hardest. Kitty, first things first, she hates being picked up. <laughs> Can I steal your paw? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, let me put you up here. Good girl. I think I got it. <laughs> we did it. There's hair in it, but that's like in typical kitty fashion. Now for Freya. But we're gonna use a treat. I kept one of like her pup cup cups from a while ago so that way I could make her own pup cups at home. Even though it's not the same whipped cream as Starbucks, but she still likes it. And maybe this will make it easier to get her paws in here. Let's try it. I'm thinking this is the best angle I can probably give you guys but you're sitting on top of our trash can right now, so let's see if we can do this. Look at your paw print. It's so cute. Sit. Good girl. That kind of worked. Ah, don't eat it. <laughs> Give me another paw. We got it. We got it, little miss. Of course, you gotta finish your pup cup. Look at how they turned out. These are two of Freya's and the kitties is upside down. 
But look, I think they actually turned out pretty good. Like I think they'll end up looking good once they're cooked, but I am going to cut them into more like good circles. I just used this knife and like cut around it. I didn't make it perfect circles. I really don't care about that, but I just wanted to have like clean edges. And then I used this metal straw, which had a really tiny hole because I didn't want them to be super big. And I just plopped those in there. So that way I can tie twine through it and actually make it an ornament. So this is what we're left with. I think it looks really good. Like I think it's gonna come out so good. Bake for two to three hours. Okay, we're gonna do three. That'll like bring us right to where we need to go, which is gonna be fine. But let's throw these in here for three hours. And let's hope for the best. Let's do a timer for three hours. My timer for the oven just went off. Ah! And I'm excited to see how they turned out in perfect timing because Griffin just got home. <gasps> oh, they look so good. Look at them. Wow, I don't wanna touch it because I'm sure they're really hot. I'm just gonna scooch them off to the side. I kind of moved them around because they're very hard on the front, but they're not like squishy, but they're definitely a little bit squishy on the bottom. So I wanted to move them so they can finish cooling off and harden completely. But Kitty's is so cute. It's so tiny compared to Freya's. Like that's crazy. Adorable. Griffin's mom's gonna love it. Hello guys. We are back home from Griffin's parents' house. We were kind of pressed for time, <laughs> but we're home now and we're wearing our Christmas Eve jammies. Everyone opened my gifts I gave them and everybody loved them. I think they were a hit, which is always my fear because I always feel like I suck at gift giving, but in the end it always works out. So I'm happy about that. And everybody opened their Christmas Eve jammies. So I'm excited about that. I thought it was really good. The dinner was bomb. It was phenomenal. An update on our ornaments though. I wanted to let them fully hardened because like on the front they're hard but on the back they were kind of like still squishy i think because i made them like super thick she's thick boy <laughs> So I didn't want to give it to them tonight. So I might like bake them again. I don't really know. But I did attach like the little rope on them. So I have twine. So either they're actual like ornaments now. Like look at that. It's so cute. I think they turned out so good. And then I wrote obviously Freya in 2021 on the back of them. And I have obviously the second one for us. So that way we get one and Griffith's parents get one. And then Kitty's is so tiny. It's so adorable. Like this thing is so cute. My heart. And of course I wrote Kitty 2021 on the back of it. I'm so happy. I did this. If y'all have not, you need to. Maybe make them a little less thick than I did because like, yeah, this is like a crumble cookie. But Griffin and I are going to head to bed so that way we can get up. Not early because we don't have kids. <laughs> Thank God, but we have a puppy. And enjoy Christmas together. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed today's video and our little DIY project over there. Shout out to Finley and Sadie and Maggie for the idea. But I love you guys so much. More than you'll ever know. Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Bye!